Hi, it's Legionero back with another video. Today, I want to do a social media plan with me. This is my gold mining cocoa planner that I got from Target. This is for the week of July the 3rd through July the 9th. I'm gonna use the Kell of a Plan Roy G. Biv Boxes and Florals, Volume 3. And I'm just gonna plan my social media um, for this week. In this planner, so I know it has been a while since I've done any planning. Um, I haven't even planned in my planners. I want to do some back planning um, and I want to record it. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to, but I want to. I did jot down the things that went on for the last couple of weeks. Um, so we'll see how it goes. I need to do my July monthly there's a lot that I need to do <laughs> and, and get prepared for um, and just to get back on track I'm just so off track um, so let me tell you what's been going on with me um, I am technically unemployed and <laughs> so um, grab my white out so I um I had a contract job I won't name the job so I had a contract job um, and it involved that thing that happened in 2020 that turned the world upside down um, and the contract kept getting renewed getting renewed um, and it was a work from home job. So that was great for me. At the same time, I was teaching um, at a college. I taught for 11 and a half years. And I love teaching, love, love, love teaching. Um, but the teaching job was less than part-time and it was just getting to the point to where it's <laughs> story for another day but anyway um i technically retired from teaching i'll say um so I was working both jobs and when that thing in 2020 happened <laughs> I was a little upset at my teaching job because it seemed like almost every other college um, was allowing their instructors to teach from home right but not my school no 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 <laughs> they still had us coming on campus the students were at home but not the instructors. They were making us come on campus. So that irritated me. <laughs> A lot. <laughs> so, and at the end of 2021, I decided that I was retiring from teaching. All right. So that's what I did. Um, retired from teaching and I'm using I'm doing air quotes when I say retiring right <laughs> because I would like to teach online I really would and so I started doing the other job from home it wasn't full time it was 29 hours a week um, but it was from home. I have side hustles that I do to make up for, you know, the little things that 
the money that I was making at the school, I have side hustles to make up for that, right? Um, so, um, So anywho, with that, the contract kept getting renewed. So I was working that. And technically, the contract got renewed again just recently. But there was a caveat. We couldn't work from home anymore. And as you all know, or I can't remember if you all know, I know my sewing channel knows. <laughs> I'm vehicle challenged at the moment, right? Which is not too much of a big deal because we have public transportation here. Um, um, so there's that. However, Um, the deal was, so there's, there were three different locations, right? And they had us fill out this survey and they, you know, they did make clear that you may not get your preference. But we'll try to accommodate you. Um, you know, it depends on the needs and this, that, and the other, and availability and blah, 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 blah. Um, so anyway, they basically gave us a week to get our stuff together, basically. <laughs> Um, and the contract was extended for another year, right? Um, so we filled out this survey. You know, I marked the location that was closest to me and more convenient for me, you know, due to where I live and me being on public transportation. So... You know, they sent out this email. They send us, I guess, the place where um, that based on our survey, not technically based on our expertise yet because they haven't seen our resume yet, right? And they sent out this email. They tell you the department. They tell you the two the positions that are available and they tell you um, the basically the schedule, right? Now, mind you, we're working 29 hours a week. The new thing is two days a week from nine to four. That's cut in half from what we were working. <laughs> so not only can I not work from home anymore. So I can't work from home anymore. I got to go in and my hours are being cut in half. Um, it's not a shift that I, I normally work. Um, I don't have transportation and yes, I can ride public transportation. It's, <laughs> I'm trying to be politically correct, right? <laughs> 
<sighs> Basically, how am I going to make up these missing hours, right? <laughs> And you basically give them the okay so here's the thing here here was the email um thank you for your interest in this position as if i express interest in this position i don't even know anything about this position right what position have i expressed interest in this is just something you've sent me i don't know anything about this position So you're telling me I express interest in something I have nothing, I know nothing about. So it's like attach your resume um, and then put in writing whether you accept the position or not. What position? What am I accepting? <laughs> what location are you sending me to? Right? So I, you know, I respond to the email. I did attach my resume, but I was like, listen, I'm on public transportation. I need to know what location you're sending me to, what days, um, because technically, um, technically, I'm working or I work. There's not. Technically, I work an afternoon shift, like a 12 to something, right? Um, because I, and I do that because I have a lot of doctor's appointments. Um, so I make to make it convenient for everyone, I make my doctor's appointments in the morning so I can work in the um, I'm looking for stickers, <laughs> script stickers. So I can work in the afternoons. That way I'm not always saying, you know, I need this day off for this and that day off for this. You know, I'm trying to, you know, make it convenient, right? So that's why I usually start my shifts in the afternoon. The shift they want us to work is like a nine to four, right? For two days a week. Now, if I had a car... This might be a different conversation, but I still need like 15 more hours. <laughs> right? Um, how am I going to make up these hours I'm missing? Um, so... There's that. I'm coming. <laughs> I'm making a whole mess over here. I'm glad y'all can't see it. <laughs> um. I may just have to write these things in. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna have to write them in and I'm gonna have shaky cam. But I kinda wanted to take a picture first. <laughs> I thought I had some some um, scripts that said like um, what am I playing with me?
I do have some. The question is, where are they? So basically, what I'm getting at is Yes, they offer positions, which is great. Oh, here, here they are. Um, so yes, they offered us positions. That's great. Because they could have came in and said, you know what? This is over. Thank you for your time. <laughs> Goodbye. However, we could have collected unemployment. But because they offered us other positions, even though the positions significantly cut our hours, if we go to unemployment, they're going to, they can tell unemployment, hey, you know, we offered them something. They didn't take it. So Sundays, I usually upload my plan with me's. Um, so that's the part I, I don't, I don't like how it was done. Um, Because we didn't have a lot of time to decide. Um, we basically had a week to decide. And, you know, for people who had, it's summertime, so kids are out of school. So people who had kids and, you know, now you got to figure out what to do with your children. And, you know, just different things like that. It just wasn't, I don't know. I, I just don't feel like it was considerate. Um, but like I said, Glass half full, they did offer, you know, um, offer us something. However, that something was just not enough compared to like, how are we going to make up the rest? Because you can't tell your bill, you know, you can't tell the gas company and the light company, well, hey, you know, I'm only working half the hours I was working before. So <laughs> they're not going to cut your bill in half. Um, film. Um, and then. I usually film on Fridays. So, and then for me, don't think I don't think there's any patterns on sale this week I think the patterns are on sale next week I can't look at my phone because I'm recording with my phone <laughs> um Yeah, I think the pattern's on sale next week. So I just, I'll leave it. I'll leave it blank. And if it is on sale, I'll just add it. If they are on sale, I'll add it. Um, so I usually film on Fridays, edit on Saturdays, upload on Sundays, and then I upload one on Mondays. Here I have a
So long story short, for me, and they were saying in the meeting, you know, there's an opportunity. You could go in here and Wednesday I have a pattern haul video. I know I'm flipping back and forth, but Wednesday I have a pattern haul video that's going up. Monday I have a vlog that's going up that shows me fabric shopping. I don't think I have a vlog sticker. I think I have one, but it doesn't say shopping vlog. I think it just says like sewing vlog, but I'm not sewing in the video. So anyway, um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. They were like, you could go in here and you could get hired on full time. So it's like, I've been working this job for two and a half years, but now you want me to go into an office as basically a part time paid intern. And y'all let me know in the comments if I sound crazy. <laughs> um, you know. If I sound crazy, let me know. I mean, again, I appreciate the opportunity. Actually, I'm not going to say I don't appreciate it. I do appreciate it. But I could have got more on unemployment. Unemployment would have gave us more than what they were offering us uh, two days a week. Um, and with me, because I ride public transportation, I would have spent more money. I would have been spend, uh, putting out more money trying to buy monthly MARTA card because I'm riding MARTA leisurely now, um, you know, to go places. Usually family or friends will take me to the grocery store, different things like that. So I don't really have to um, ride MARTA to do those type things. Um, but if I want to, you know, do my, go to the fabric store or the craft store, um, I'll ride Marta, but to go to work, I would need to get like a monthly Marta card to save money because it doesn't make sense to keep putting $5 here, $5 there on the card. Um, so I would have been putting out more money. Um, so I want to sew a little bit and the best way for me to do that is to set aside time so sew 60 means i'm going to set aside an hour to sew and i'm also going to film um a sewing video and i'm also going to do it on thursday so this goes with my social media because i have a if you don't know i have a sewing and crafting youtube channel <laughs> And I'm trying to be more intentional with my plans. And I made my little icons so long ago and I have not been using them, but I am going to use my little icons. My nickname is Cookie. And I had someone on Fiverr make these for me and I turned them into stickers. So that's me little cookie holding a sewing machine <laughs> and this is little cookie shopping <laughs> And this is little cookie editing videos. <laughs> uh, I think this all.
So, and that is spelt wrong. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> I got to fix those, but I got a whole sheet of those. So I'm using all my, every little sticker on my sheet before I fix it. <laughs> There's no need in me wasting stickers. Uh, but that is definitely spelt wrong. Um, this is me cookie planning. <laughs> that is hilarious. I just know, I guess because I haven't been using the stickers, I didn't notice that it was spelled wrong. But it is definitely spelled wrong. <laughs> you got to be able to laugh at yourself. But yeah, so I turned down the, the job altogether. Um, so I returned the equipment today. Um, I have side hustles that I work. And I am getting ready to start. And this is just a little cookie. She's not holding anything. So I'm just going to stick her in the corner. I'm going to start looking for another job soon. Um, this doll I got from Creative Fabrica. I will link that in the description box below. Um, my Creative Fabrica links are affiliate links. Um, there, there's no extra cost to you. I just get a small commission if you order something from Creative Fabrica using my link. Um, but yeah, I'm going to start looking for another job soon. Um, but yeah, that's the saga with the job. Um, some people it was a great deal for. Some people were full-time, so they kept their full-time status. They just had to, you know, go in full-time, I think 8.30 to 5. Um, now, if I was full-time and I had, um, if I was full-time, I would have kept, my you know the position or whatever um but being part-time and then you cut the hours you know we're already part-time <laughs> and 30 hours were you know was good enough for me you know 29 might as well say 30 but then you cut that in half and then like i said it's like you i'm i'm pretty much now a i'm pretty much a paid intern and I got to prove that I'm worthy to work for the, a company that I've been working for for two and a half years. And which should be obvious because I was able to work from home for two and a half years. Um, all of my evaluations were stellar. I got the highest, you know, marks on my evaluations. I, but now I have to prove that I'm worthy of a, a full-time position that that was crazy to me so <laughs> i turned down the position um so yeah there's that um so that's what's been going on with me um i was a little stressed um, i didn't feel like planning i clearly i didn't fill out anything <laughs> i did my I think this is the last, yeah, this is the last spread I did. Didn't fill out anything on it. Didn't do that spread at all. Didn't do this spread at all. <laughs> and, you know, now I'm doing this one. So hopefully I am back. Hopefully I can do some more filming um, this weekend, get my monthlies together, getting my weeklies together excuse me, my weeklies together, my dailies together. Um, yeah. And getting myself back together because doing these side hustles is easy to get lost in YouTube and watching other people plan and watching other people. sew and not doing what I'm supposed to do and being undisciplined. So I definitely got to get back on this journey. Um, <laughs> So yeah, thank you for listening to me and what's been going on in my life for the last couple of weeks. Um, 
I'm going to need y'all to help me stay positive and stay on it. Thank you so much for all of the new subscribers. Um, thank you so much for subscribing. Um, yeah, welcome. <laughs> um, I do like to do demonstration videos. I want to get back on that. Um, as I learn new things, I like to come on and show you all new things. Um, so yeah, welcome to the family. All right. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video.